in your local magazine on the blog, but it may not be what you're accustomed to. The Nationalist, a new electronically published magazine, was created by several young Bahamians with the view of producing a magazine that addresses national issues, but with an unbiased political approach. The Nationalist magazine was an initiative started by a group of young Bahamian journalists, writers, and political enthusiasts that felt the need for a balanced approach on Bahamian political literature in our country, and it's something that we felt as if it was needed, not at this, this time, but also continuously in the future. And according to editor Quentin Lyborn, getting the first issue off the ground really wasn't that hard at all. There were small and few, because in terms of persons who were willing to pretty much put themselves out there so we can get the information, the writers ourselves with very, very articulated and very balanced articles that show national issues. And the, all the feature interviews, persons were very professional, very helpful, and also very encouraging in getting this issue off. The magazine's first issue will include features from the Free National Movement's candidate for Long Island, Loretta Butler-Turner, the Progressive Liberal Party's candidate for Marathon, Jerome Fitzgerald, and the Democratic National Alliance's candidate for Mount Moriah, Wayne Monroe. It can be found at www.thenationalistmagazine.com and will officially be launched tonight at 11.59. Well, tonight we introduce you to a young, up-and-coming Bahamian entertainer who's already making waves on the international music scene. Since making it to the top 40 round of the popular television show American Idol, Matheny Trico says he's been hard at work on his soon-to-be-released debut album. The young talent is home this week to perform a concert. He says that is all about giving back to the Bahamas for all the support the country has shown him. Here's Corville Pyfrom. Remember to let her under your skin, then you begin to make it better, 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 yeah! yeah! That's 26-year-old Bahamian-born singer Matheny Trico during auditions for the hit American reality show, American Idol. The judges loved his lively, energetic performance and sent him through to Hollywood. Matheny, chosen from among thousands of wannabe stars, made it all the way to the top 40 round of the show. Even though he did not make it all the way, Matheny says the experience was well worth it. Now he's home for a while to say thanks to all who supported him. And tomorrow night, he'll be taking to the stage at Foxy's on East Bay Street for a one-night-only concert for the home crowd. I almost don't want them to have any expectations. It's, it's a matter of like, I promise you that you're going to have the time of your life. You're going to listen to some good music. I'm also going to cover a couple songs. So like you'll hear some stuff that you've heard already before. Um, and just expect a show. It's going to be outstanding. I'm so proud of um, these dancers behind me. I'm so um, proud of the work that I've been doing because it's been years of hard, 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 hard work. And um, I'm just ready to show, show it to the world. Matheny is currently working on his debut album, Math Class, which is due out later this summer. The album will have something for everyone, he says, and he shared with us his dream list of artists he'd one day like to work with. I would love to cut a track with Nicki Minaj. I think that would be out of control. Like, that would be so probably crazy and overwhelming. That would be so awesome. Um, you know, I'm also very, very into right now, I think, um, I think Beyonce is always a, a fascinating person. I think she's, she's extremely talented. Mm -hmm. And um, she's a Knowles. <laughs> so, um, I also, I mean, it's, I'd love to, I'd love to work with a lot of people. I'm actually really more into like producers, as producers that I like to work with. Um, you know, there's um, Roddy Jerkins is somebody that I would always, I would, I would love to meet and to get to know, um, and also work with. And there's also, you know, GJ White Shadow is out there that I think is pretty awesome. Red One I think is a fantastic producer, um, and also like. I know this is like a long shot, but I mean, Prince has been a huge influence in my life. Doors open at 8 p.m. and the show starts at 9. Tickets are five bucks for men and ladies. will all get in free of charge. Here's a sneak peek at what you can expect. Hey Jude, don't make it bad. Take a sad song and make it better. Remember to let her under your skin. Then you begin to make it better, 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 yeah, yeah. Corvell Pike from JCN News. Well, thanks, Corvell. That ends this segment of our news. Stay with us for a check on weather.